Okay, in this video I'm going to show you the ORD and CHR functions. Okay, so the ORD is usually used to determine the, the ordinal value or ASCII value of a character. And then when you uh, use the CHR, it will convert it back to a character. I'm going to save my program quickly. Let's first do this with the ORD. Okay, I'm going to limit my edit box um, to length, max characters. I think it's max characters, max length. I'm going to set it to one, and I'm going to make the text start with an A. Okay, so when I click on that button, I want it to display the ASCII value of whatever was entered in the edit box. Okay, so I make the max length 1, so the user will only be allowed to enter a character, one single character. Uh, the function is ORD, ORD, and let's say edit one dot text, and the first character in that edit one dot text, and I'm gonna gonna send back the ASCII value, and then I'm gonna save the ASCII value in inum, and then I'm gonna display the value of inum in my label. I now is integer, so I need to convert it to a string. I and T to str. Okay, so the ASCII value for an A is 97. Now you can check the ASCII values. Um, I cannot enter more than one character. uppercase A is 65, lowercase is 97, so it's not the same. So now I'm gonna add another button. And when I click on this button, I'm gonna change this back to the normal A or the character. So CHR is that function. So when I click on it, I'm going to say take whatever that the user entered into edit one, that ASCII value, take that current ASCII value, convert it to a character, and display it in. The label that caption. Okay, so inum is local over here. So let's just make it global so that it can work in both procedures. Okay, so it's going to take that ASCII value, change it to a character, and then display it in the label the caption. Okay, 
Okay, so A converts it, it's 97. When I click on this button, it's going to take that 97, that ASCII value, and return it to a character. It's going to make it A again. So let's make it uppercase A, change it to ASCII value, and then when I click on that, CHR, it must change it back to the character. Okay, this is quite hand, uh, useful or handy when you want to do encryption. So in a future video, I will show you how to encrypt text using these two functions.